This is Big Poppy Racing. Welcome back to the 2020 Diecast Games. This week, Event 4, The Roll. As in other events, we have 64 participants, but only the top half, 32, will receive points. We have an 82-foot hall where cars will be set up. Our demonstration car is the Reese's Mazda Miata. They'll be set, released, they'll go downhill, and they will go unhindered until they stop. There's a tape running along the side of the track, as you can see, and once they come to rest, 41.03 inches. First up, R&R &R Racing. He's got a Ford GT40. Let's see what he's able to do with this. Down he goes, Rhett Nelson Rogers. He's going to pull up a little short here. It looks like a 32.04. Yep, 32.04. His next car, a Mazda RX-7. He's released and down he goes. This one looks like he's going to do a little better than the last. He's past the 30 mark. And past the 40. And he's going to do 41.38. 41.38. So there's Rhett's scores laid in for the row. Next up, Michael's Diecast Garage. Michael's got the Ford GTLM. One of the cars from last year's games. Did pretty well. He no, oh, he takes off quick. He's gonna get a lot of distance out of this. When we get halfway, we'll try to take a look and see what, what you're gonna have to have to score. He's gonna make 58.28. 58.28. Next is the Roger Dodger 2.0. Now he goes and off he goes. Nice speed on this car. This event, of course, has to do with freewheeling and how your cars roll on track once they hit a flat spot. 64.43. 64.43 for the Roger Dodger. That's going to put Michael's Dockass Garage in first and second at the moment. Next up, Little Miss Mayhem and Crazy Fresh Entertainment. Her first car out of the gate is a Mitsubishi 3000 GT Spider. Here we go down the track. That's where we roll here at the beginning. This is a matchbox entry. And she's past 50. She's going to go all the way up to 55.44. 55.44 for Crazy Fresh Entertainment, Little Miss Mayhem. Next up, the Batmobile. This is not going to do near as well as the last. 32.6, 32.6. So Little Miss Mayhem and Crazy Fresh got third at the moment. Next up, Mark D and CRC Racing. He's got an 87 Dodge D100. And he goes, a little different tires on this one. I don't know how this is going to do with those uh, rippled tires or the treaded tires. 38.47, 38.47 is what he's going to end up with. Next is El Viento. This is a nice casting, moves pretty smooth down. He's going to roll and roll. He's past the 30 and the 38 of the last car into the 40s. He's going to high 40, almost 50. Let's, oh, 49.34. 49.34. That's going to put him in fourth place at the moment. Next up is Dirty D Bracing, and he's got a 69 Mustang. Pretty model. Going to be first out the gate. Down he goes, and off he goes. He's slowing a little faster than he wants to. And he's going to end up with a 38.2, 38.2 feet. Next up is the Speed Seeker. This is an older casting. He's down, and he's not going to go as far as the Mustang, it looks like. He's going to pull up at about 32.55, 32.55. Now, I know the Seeker says 32.5, but we'll add the 5 after that when we get to the final standings. Next up, JX4 Racing. He's got the Chevy Impala. Down he goes. 
going to pull up short too. Just not a lot of speed on this car. 27.37. 27.37. Next up, way too fast. Yeah, now he's going he's to do a little better than the other. He's past the 2030 mark. We're winding in. Can he make 40? No, 38.37. 38.37. So that's going to put him at 8th and 10th at the moment. Next up, your Nightmare Racing. He's got a custom 300ZX. He's released, goes down the track. Oh, he's moving pretty good. Pushing, pushing down. He's past the 20, uh, 30 and the 40. Now we're into the 50. Yes, he's got 51.91, 51.91. Next, the Praetorian Guard, heavy casting. Let's see what he can get. He moves off the hill, down the track. A little hard for me to cube up with him. So he's going to do a little better than the last car. He's passed his 50, no problem. And he's going to do 57.24. 57.24, which is going to put him in third and the other casting, those 300ZX in fifth at the moment. Next up, Silverback Racing. He's got the Mazda Repu truck. Not sure how this is going to work. The wheels on it are treaded. It's got little indentions. Uh, it's not going to work at all for him. He's going to pull up short 20.3. 20 20.3. And next up, the Robo Formula E. Robo Car Formula E. He starts down the track. He's going to beat the 20. Will he get to 30? Let's see. Oh, no. 29.9. So he'll be added to the standings in the proper place. Next up, Madness Motorsports. His first car is a Ferrari Testarossa. And he goes, off he goes. Past the 30, past the 40, 42.78, 42.78 for the Ferrari. Next up, Twin Mill Jenny. New casting. He starts out not, doesn't look like he has quite the speed as the Ferrari did. Past 30, but now 32.95, 32.95. So that's going to put him in the appropriate spots. So we're going through this. Next up. You know it, the Rogue Racer. He's got that 69 Pontiac GTO. I already told you that's one of my favorite castings. He's got 30 to 40, no problem. He's going to do 46. Yeah, 46.76. Next up, a Datsun 200SX. He's an old casting. He starts down. He's made his 30, 40, all right. Now we're coming up on 50, and now we're at 55. Yeah, there you go, 55.34, 55.34. So that means Rogue Racer is going to be in sixth and eighth at this point. Good job for him. Next up, you know it, QC Jim L. He's got the Johnny Lightning Coca-Cola Studebaker. Heavy casting, down he goes. His cars move really, really well, and I can't even hardly keep up with it here at the beginning. New catch up, he makes 50, now 60, and he is one, two, and three, and four. 64.04. Nice run for the Studebaker. Next up, a Honda Sprocket. Let's see what he does. Down he goes, and he's gone. There's 10, easy. There's 20, easy. Still moving, 30, going past 40, going past 50, making 60. He's not, he's not wanting to stop. Jim L is going to end up at 68.64, 68.64, which is going to put him in first and third place at the moment. Next up, Toon Tracks Racing. Toon Tracks in this event has a DeLorean faster than ever. Down he goes, and off he goes. Makes the 10, no problem. And the 20, no problem. 30, 
Got his 40, and now we're up to 46.83. 46.83 for the DeLorean. Next up, the Batmill Mobile from the TV series. He's also FTE, faster than ever. He got the 10, the 20, and the 30 easy. Here we go, 40. And he's rolling up. Can he make, yeah, he's gonna make 50. And 51.54, 51.54. So that's gonna leave Toon Tracks Racing at the moment in ninth and 11th. Next up is Sandy Mack and tie one on. She has surprised a lot of folks in this race. The new one, she's got that Jaguar. And he is taking off, or she is, if she's driving. She's past 50, no problem. 60, no problem. And we've got 62, 63.21, 63.21. Nice shots. Uh, job, Sandy Mack. Next up, she's got an Evo. Let's see what it can do. Moving good, too. Down the ramp and down the straightaway. Catching up to her here. Got the 50, no problem. Got the 60. Now we're going 60. Are we going to make 63? Yes, yeah, 63.65. 63.65 is going to leave that car in fourth and her other car in fifth at the moment. So Sandy Mack with Taiwan on. Wearing some folks out. Next up. Simon D and Hot Car Track. He's got a Jaguar, orange version of that XJ220. Takes off like a shot. Gonna catch up with him down. He got 50. Gonna make 60. He's gonna make 60 just short of six. No, 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 60. 60.7, 60.7 for the Jaguar. Nice job. Next up, the BDD12. So let that one go. He's past his 10, his 20, his 30, his 40. Let's see, will he break 50? He is going to break 50. Yes, 50.14. So there's been a mistake, believe it or not. The, the Jaguar had 60.7, and it will be corrected in the end. Don't look now, but here comes the League of Speed. His first car, a Cadillac Escalade. Let's see how he does down the track or down the hill. And here we go. Oh, goodness. Let me catch up with this bad boy. He's past 30 and 40, no problem. Sit 50. Past his 60. And here we go. Are we going to get up to 65? 60, 68. 68.75. So 68.75 for the Escalade. Next up, the Honda Civic. Leave the speed. Drops the car. Here we go. No, power, no problem past the 20, 30, 40 mark. Going through 40s up to 50. Got 50, 52.61. 52.61 for the Civic. So that's going to leave leaving speed in first place with the Escalade and 12th place with the Civic at the moment. Next up, my Hot Wheels collection. An old Kev from across the pond. Appreciate Kevin taking part in this. He's... Asked for a Mazda RX-7 to start with, and down the track we go. And he is going to get, he's past 40, but I think he's just short 43.72, 43.72 for the Mazda. Next is the Hot Wheels Rapid Responder. Fantasy casting he wanted to use, Christmas edition. Down we go. He's through the 10, 20, 30 with no problem, past the 40. He's going to make the 50, and now we're going to make 51. No, no, this 50.95. That's good enough for 15th place right now. And looking at things, it looks like you're going to have to have a 50 or better score. Next up, the racer who says knee. And he's got a custom Nissan Custom Z300 ZX. Down the track he goes. He's past the 20 and the 30 with no problem. 40 and 45, 46, 46.06, 46.06. Next up, the Shark Cruiser. Down the track he goes. This is the one before the mechanism they had installed in the newer ones where the mouth goes up and down. 
He's made his 30, no problem. 40 and 43.77. 43.77. So the racer who says knee is, uh, occupies 20 and 21 right now. And if you see if it's good enough to hold on. Next up, Uncle Elvis is racing. He's got the orange Jaguar XJ220. Quite a few of those in. We're going to do a little special in the Jaguar before long. Also going to tell us what we've got in each event or how many cars. He's going to end up with a 42.04. 42.04. Next up, he's got the, the orange Mazda RX-7. And the track he goes. He makes the 20, no problem. Past the 30, going 31.79. 3179. Well, the Jaguar is good enough for 24th at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to hold or not. Next up, Big Poppy Racing. Big Poppy's got the gold F40, that Ferrari model, everyone loves. Down the track he goes. He makes the 20, no problem. The 30, no problem. The 40 and 50. Now we're up to 55, and we're going 56.39. 56.39 for Big Poppy with the Ferrari. Next up, he has a yellow shadow jet. At least down the track he goes. The shadow jets run well as long as they don't do a lot of rubbing. That's what really tends to hurt them, but this one runs pretty true. He's past the 50. He's going to make it past 60. Yes, yes. There he goes, 60.04, 60.04. So that's going to leave Big Poppy in 7th and 11th at the moment. But next up is the Lady of Speed, and she has been performing well in these games. Her first car is the Chrysler, 300. Down the track it goes, and she is flying. Past 40, past 50, past 60. Where is she going to stop? 65, 66.04. 66.04. Look at the lady of speed. Next up, she's got a way too fast. Down the track we go. And man, this car is flying. Nice movement. Nice. This car is just smooth as silk. Past the 50, no problem. 60 is no problem. We're going to make 70 even. And we're going to go 74, no, 4, 74.22. 74 is enough to put Lady of Speed in first and fourth place. Good showing. Good showing by the Lady of Speed. Next up, our command. He's got the Dodge Challenger, one of the newer new castings. It's going to be his first car out. He's past the 20. He's going to make 30, but he's going to pull up at about 32.2. 32.2 for the Challenger. Next up's the Track Ripper. This is a really light casting. Not sure the lighter ones don't tend to do well here if they don't roll really, really good. He's not going to make 30. He's going to be 28.42. 28.42. So Arc Command will go in the appropriate spots. And next up, we've got Fast Five Racing. And here's the Corvette, 1980 Corvette. From what I understand, the driver's name is Willie Make It. I don't think he's going to. It looks like he's going to be about 28.12. 28, 1 point, uh, 0.12. And next up is the Aston Martin. And down he goes. And both these cars... Sub 30, they're going to be 27.82, 27.82 for Fast Five. So his cars will go in the appropriate spots. And next up is Bad Burn Racing. His first car up is going to be a Chevy Silverado. These cars do pretty good sometimes on these tracks. Long wheelbase helps. As long as they roll true, he's got his 30, no problem. He's got 40, and we're doing 40 for two. Didn't make three. 42.89 for the Silverado. And next is the Audi RS6. Avant, and you can hear those wheels there. A little different type of wheel. It just doesn't, doesn't do as well, I don't think, on these tracks. And he's going to be shorter, 37.71. 37.71. So Bad Burn is going to be in 27th at the moment. 
with the Shelby Silverado. Here's who I've been waiting for today. Hot Wheels Calgary. Big Aaron with a custom V8 Vega. He loves that car. Loves that car. And you see why down the track he goes. He's flying. He's past the 30, past the 40. He's past the 50. Can he get the 60? Coming up on it. No, no, he's not. He's going to be just short. 59.59. 5959 for the custom V8. Next, the speed bump. Low slung, heavy car down the track he goes. Same thing, flying pretty good past his 40s, past his 50s. Let's see if he can get up in that 55, 6, 7. Can he get that 60? He's about the same spot. No, he's passed. He's going to make 60. 60.74. 60 60.74 for the speed bump. So that's going to put him in ninth and the Vega in 12th at the moment. Next up, Hot Wheel Racer Mike and the Ohio Valley Racers. He's got a Porsche Carrera, blue in color. Down he goes, heavy casting. Not got a lot of speed at this point. Don't think he's gonna do, no, nope, we're gonna be short of 40. 35.15, 35.15 for the Carrera. Next up's the Datsun 510. The Datsun 510's down the track. Gonna be not not as good as the, actually as the Porsche. He's gonna be just over 31.82. 31.82. And that's gonna leave Mike out of the money for this race. Next up, Rust Belt Racing. Rust Belt's gonna be starting with a Porsche 917. The only one in our tournament right now. There he goes. He makes the 10, he makes the 20, but he's gonna pull up at 23. 7.4, 23.74 for the rest belt. Next up, the 69th Nissan Junior, the Sirachi truck, the little matchbox truck. He's down and he's gonna make his 20 okay. Gonna get 30 and he's gonna stop at 32.29, 32.29. So rust belt goes into the placings. And here comes one of the crowd of favorites, Po Boy Racing. He's starting with an 09 Ford F-150. Oh, watch him go. He's got the 40. He's got the 50. He's got the 60. 65 going on up. Look at this. Is he going to make 70? No, just short. He's going to be 68.09. 68.09 for the Ford F-150. Next up, Sinan. he's got a Lancer Evo 2. Down the track he goes. These cars move pretty good. They're fast, I know that much. And he gets past the 50 and past the 60. Not going to quite be where the, the Ford was, but 64.78. 64.78, which will put Poor Boy fourth and sixth at the moment with only five contestants left. Next up, Peter B. Racing, Peter B. Racing. His first car is a front running Fairmont. Down the track he goes. Where he stops. He's going to make his 50, no problem. 55. Is he going to get up? He's going to get 60. Yes, he did. 60.3 for the front running Fairmont. Nice run. Next up's the Lexus. I already told you folks, I love this casting. It's smooth as silk. Let's see how he does on the raceway, though. 30s, no problem. 40s, 45, 46, 40, oh, to 8, 48.25. So, Peter B. Racing is going to start in 15th with the front running Fairmont. Next up in this random order is Nick Deavers Racing. He's going to be running that Datsun 280ZX. Of course, Nick's in, in, in first place right now. Doing a great job with these games. Wow, this oh, these matchbox are going here. Look at this one. He's past his 50, no problem. Past the 60. There goes 70. He's going to make 74. 74.52. 7452 for that. Next is the Burlesque, and we know this car. It's the hot car right now. Down the track he goes. He's flying too. He's got the 50, no problem. 
He's going to do the 60, no problem. 65, getting up high. Past 70, into 72.42. 72.42. Guess what? Nick Devers, first and third. Only the lady of speed's able to stay with him. Good job, Nick. Next, we go to Gen X Vintage Racing. He's going to have a Nissan S10 Bluebird to start with. Down the track he starts. He's going to get the 30, no problem. He's going to get the 40, no problem. We've got 40, 45, 6 on up to 47 and past 47, 48. 48 and 8, 3. 48.83 for the Bluebird. Next is the Midriff, heavy, low slung car. And he starts out. He's got the 30, no problem. He's got the 40, no problem. He, he's made the 50. Let's see where he ends up at. One, two, going to 53. 53.77. That's going to be high enough to put Midrift in 23rd place. Uh, so he's got points regardless of what happens next. Next up, Kaboom Racers. Don's got the big Chevy Stalker. Heavy casting. Thanks again for the starting devices and the ending line he made for us. Down the track, that Chevy Stalker's rolling. He's past 40 easy, 50, 60. Gonna make 65, do you think? No, 64.25, 64.25. Next up's the Porsche P928. Down he goes. Flying. He's past 30, no problem. 40, no problem. 50, no problem. 55. What's he going to make? 60? No, nope, not 58.72. 58.72 for the Porsche. That's going to put Kaboom in 10th and 19th. So they're in the money two places. Last up, but not least for sure, is Red Pill Racing, last year's champ. Got the lucky draw at the end, and here comes that Mercedes 500 SE. He's going. Hard to keep up with it. He's going. He's past the 60s. He's past the 70s. He's rolling. Folks, he's, he's going to the end of the track. 80.5. I mean, nobody's come close to that. Next up, Carbonite. Let's see what he can do. Down he goes. Red Pill showing some muscle. Frank a little determined after one of the events earlier that he didn't place in. But the Carbonator's rolling past 60. Got 70. Yeah, 70.27. So that's going to end the race. We'll look at see what's going on. First place is going to be Red Pill Racing with Nick Devers in second. Lady of Speed, Nick Devers. Red Pill again, then League of Speed. And you can see as it goes down the list. We've made the corrections on the one car that was not listed correctly. Now these are the non-placing cars. You can see we'll roll through these, so the, the bottom half of the 64. So it did take a 50 or better to score. As we look down at the rest of these. Then next we'll be going to your team standings after four events. And look at Nick Devers. But Red Pill has pulled into second over your nightmare. We've got a few more people that have scored, and they're now in the mix. And now the individual car standings after four events. Burlesque. There he is. Three events so far, first place. A couple of Red Pills in the top ten. Everything laid out. These are the first 30 points. From there, we'll go down from 29. You go down to each individual car. Total points just to the left of the car, or to the right of the car, I'm sorry. It's going to go down to 17. Then we'll start at 16 and go down. Some of these cars have been in only one event so far, so they've got some, some scoring still to do. So, folks, thanks for watching. Appreciate everything you do for us. Remember to subscribe and like. Tell your friends. We appreciate you. Next week, Event 5. You're going to love it. This has been a Big Poppy Racing production.